Hello everyone, I'm Akif and this is going to be a lecture on uh, expert systems and it's going to be a very quick uh, video on this topic. So let's uh, discuss what's an expert system and if you try to define expert systems you will have different people coming up with different definitions and here I have got two definitions and one definition according to one definition um, expert system um, uh, in artificial intelligence an expert system is a computer system that emulates the decision-making ability uh, of human uh, expert and now another definition goes like expert system is an intelligent computer program that can perform special and difficult tasks in some fields at the level of human expert so you have human expertise expert is in some sort of a field or subject and uh, we have computers involved or computer programs involved so in all these definitions you will find two uh, common things one is computer system another is human knowledge now let's try to delve a bit deeper into this and uh, try to find out what are various components so the things that are at the heart of expert systems are these three uh, components one is user interface and then we have uh, inference engine and a knowledge base so let's try to see what's in the knowledge base so knowledge base is all about facts and rules um, now you might wonder what are these facts and rules now now to uh, get an understanding of what uh, expert system is uh, and what kind of expertise is in this expert system let's try to have a look at the spelling uh, checker software for example uh, we type something in a word document and when we uh, for example uh, type some sort of uh, wrong spelling there is this uh, underlining underneath it and this pops on its own so there is someone uh, as if someone is working behind it and he is the expert of spellings so this is what um, is in the knowledge base there will be rules related to spellings and um, these are uh, the repository of facts and it has statements like if and then so we will have be having implications in this if a then b so this kind of knowledge base is created by human experts and we will discuss it shortly how human experts are brought and how they help in forming this um, knowledge base uh, the contents of the knowledge base so uh, it's all about based on experience as i said that we have implications and for example one uh, implication sentence is if it's if it snows then it's cold so we know by experience that uh, if it snows it usually is cold and almost all the times it's cold so this is what it's all about we come up with some rules and facts and these rules and facts are based on experience now we we have these things called as expert system sometimes we will have a medical diagnosis expert system sometimes we have an expert system which is related to any uh, language or for example a grammar or spelling checker or even sometimes some uh, strategy uh, games now we have someone who translates it from the language of any domain expert for example English English uh, expert someone who is an expert in English language uh, it's not necessary that he's also someone who can code or someone who can uh, make or develop this software which is called as X uh, system it's not necessary so there are there is another person who is in between we have this knowledge base let I represent it by KB and then then we have an expert this expert is the one who knows all these grammar rules he's a kind of a grammarian uh, and if we focus on a grammar expert system now a per there is another person in between uh, this who is able to translate uh, these rules in the human language 
uh, into something which could be stored in knowledge base so this person involved in between is known as a knowledge engineer okay so let's move forward what's user interface it's something that is made as simple and as easy to understand as possible the design is simple and this uh, is for example our uh, when we type in any word document and then we have written some uh, wrong spelling and we have written some wrong spelling um, like this and it doesn't know what it is so it comes up with an underline so it's a graphical user interface and it's something which is as simple as possible then we have inference engine inference engine acts like a search engine it's uh, the real brains of the computer it takes the query uh, from a person it takes a query uh, via the user uh, interface and then this inference engine uh, compares uh, this query with the knowledge base and accordingly brings the result uh, so this is what inference engine does now let's have a look uh, at this figure uh, so this is a query it could be for example the wrong spelling will act as a query and user interface uh, then forwards this to inference engine inference engine then compares it with the rules uh, mentioned and the knowledge base and accordingly brings the result which is either it's wrong this is what advice is so it's uh, it's a bi-directional you know uh, inference engine uh, t comparing the contents uh, of a query uh, comparing the contents of the knowledge base with the query and then um, bringing the result so here we have a knowledge expert who is uh, knowledgeable in some field it could be anything for example medicine or any language uh, or it depends upon the kind of application um, the expert system has um, so in between there's another individual who acts and he this person is known as the knowledge engineer now what are the advantages of expert system we don't the advantage is that we do not need expert all the time so uh, time taken to this sol to solve this problem is uh, less and um, it also allows the non experts to uh, perform the tasks which were basically meant for uh, experts now let's have a look at various expert systems for example here we have a medical diagnosis expert system in this case symptoms of a patient they act as a query and uh, they these queries are compared with the knowledge base by inference engine and it brings back the result and provides the advice uh, to the user or um, the pa patient in this case then we have strategy games here the moves uh, are stored in the knowledge base and player moves uh, they uh, these player moves they uh, act as queries and the output will be the computer expert move so this is what the kind of feedback is provided which is the computer's expert move identifying items for example if we have to identify between animate or inanimate objects or between various animals like we are not able to discern which uh, animals uh, fall in a particular or specific category for that case also we can use um, uh, expert systems and the characteristics of every item or animal are stored in the knowledge base uh, the details of the unknown items will be used as a query and the advice will be the identification so it will identify that's all that's the result we want now sometimes we also use it for discovering locations here your location will act as a query and in inference engine compares it with the knowledge base and gives you the result uh, where you are exactly so this is how uh, we can use expert systems in various fields and uh, that was all for today thanks and have a nice day